Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech Technically Speaking. Today, it's all about crimping and Haltech crimp tools. Now, the Haltech accessories have a whole bunch of different style plug and pin sets, ranging from the GM style connectors, which use a pull to seat style pin, which means that you have to put the wire through the connector, crimp the pin on, then pull it back to seat. We've got Deutsch style connectors, which we crimp the pin on, we seat them into the connector and they're plug in tight. We've got the AMP style connector, which is used on the Haltech CAN connector, on the Haltech devices like the IO box, the wideband boxes. We've got the Bosch injector connectors, ECU pins, and of course, the MAP sensor pins. So now let's go through, we'll do a practical example of crimping each pin and how to seat them in their connector. Okay, so the first connector we're going to be speaking about is the GM pull to seat style connector. So what actually happens here is that we put our wire through the connector first before stripping it. Then we're going to strip it, put our pin on, then pull it back to seat. Now, if we put a pin straight onto this wire before we put it through the connector, there's no way to get it through. So we've just crushed that pin and we just wasted it. We need to replace it. So the first thing we're going to do is put our wire through the connector, use our wire strippers, strip off ab about four millimeters, give or take, off the edge of the pin. We're gonna place our pin across the bit of stripped wire, remembering that the back side of the pin has actually got the wire relief, so that's part here is going to hold onto the sheathing of the wire, whereas the front part or the crimped part of the pin is going to be holding into the material. We're going to grab our red, or we also do these in an orange color, crimpers, and we're going to be using the D jaws. So if we just first crimp the top half, nice and tight and release, we can actually see there that What's happened is the crimpers have actually pulled the wire in together and pulled it down into the, into the pin. So that's nice and tight. We're gonna also do our second crimp on the back side into the wire relief. That's also gonna crimp down nice and tight. So there we can see that's a properly executed crimp. Give it a bit of a tug, should be nice and tight. The next thing it will do Let's pull it back into the connector, hear the firm click, and that's it. So that's our pin done. So that should just plug straight into our coil. And we're ready to go on to the second sensor. So the second sensor we're gonna be doing uses exactly the same pins. So all we're gonna be doing is grabbing our air temp sensor connector. Notice as well that on the, Deut on the Delphi connectors, the pin locations are actually marked on the connector. So I can see the A and the B. Signal for air temp is in the B, so we're just going to squeeze that signal wire through there. It's out the end. We'll strip it. Sit the pin over the edge. Use our same crimping tool. First crimp to grab the wire, nice and tight. Second crimp to grab the strain relief. Nice and tight. When we pull it back, we should hear the same click. There we go. You might not have heard it, but I did, nice and tight. And our air temp is plugged in as well. So if we can plug that in there, and our air temp's also done. Okay, so the next connector we're gonna be looking at is the Deutsch or Amphenol style connector. So we do the 1 8th MPT air and coolant temp sensors using these connectors. The first thing we'll do, strip a little bit of wire off. You'll notice that we haven't put it through the connector. We'll use the female style pin that we just place over the top of our stripped wire. You'll notice that I do leave a couple, about, about two millimeters of exposed wire here. We'll grab the Deutsch crimpers, so a different style of crimper. 
It comes in from four positions. So with one press, that pin's crimped on. The jaws come in from four positions to crimp the pin onto the connector, or onto the wire, I should say. We slide it straight into the Deutsch DTM series connector, right up until it clicks into place. So that's in nice and tight. If we put the locator in and press it in so that it clicks in tight, and that's it. Should plug straight into our air or coolant temperature sensor. And that's the way that we crimp one of the Deutsch. All right, we're getting there. We've only got two pins to go. So the next one, this is our AMP ECU connector pins. So these are the ones that go into our 26 or 34 pin connectors. So I'm just going to cut one of these off the backing strip that they're supplied on. Because this is an ECU pin, we can put it onto any wire color here. So how about we use this one, yellow and red. Same thing, just going to strip off a little bit of sheathing. Put our ECU pin over the top. Use our small crimpers again, so the E jaws of the red or orange uh, crimpers. Nice firm crimp. And there we have it. So that's perfect. So then we're just going to crimp the back jaws. And there we have it. So you'll see there, nice and tightly crimped. OK, so we're just going to put our Packard pin over our Y here. You'll just notice that I've put the back side of the Packard pin over the weatherproof seal. So we'll have a bit of a look when we crimp that. We're going to crimp the first part so that we're crimping straight onto our copper wire. We're then going to do a second crimp so that the weatherproof seal is connected to the pin. So for this one, we're going to be using the jaw number three using the blue crimpers. Nice and tight. Now, we're going to also be using jaw number one, which is going to crimp that right around, like so. There we go, a perfect crimp. So we'll plug that into the signal wire of our map sensor, and we're done. You'll also notice there we put, normally put the captive case straight over the back so the pin can't fall out. Now, one of the things I should mention as well is that in the crimper set, you also get this pin removal tool. So this one does the Packard pins. You also get two finer pin removal tools. So to remove these Packard pins, which is often really difficult, simply slide the tool all the way in and simply pull the pin out. OK, so now that we can see that when we've got the right crimping tools, we can make the job easier and faster across all the different ranges of pins. So this is going to end up just making all our wiring work so much easier. As always, thanks very much for watching today. My name's Scott. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Just remember, if you've got a Haltech ECU or you're planning on buying a Haltech ECU or installing one in your car, um, remember to subscribe to the Haltech YouTube channel. We've got heaps of hot tips, heaps of tuning tips, heaps of installation guides, just so that you don't get left behind.